long term liquidity ratio tell us that how much liquid a firm is in paying off its long term debt these ratios tell us that how much funds have a firm in its long term assets in order to pay its long term obligations in this class we have total debt ratio to determine total debt ratio of a firm we divide its total debt over its total assets let's take an example if a firm has a total debt of 1.2 million and total assets of 2 million if we divide total debt with the total assets we get a ratio of 0.60 this means that 60% of its total assets have been financed through the portion of long term debt similarly there is another ratio and and that is debt equity ratio to determine this ratio we use total debt and total equity and divide total debt with the total equity using a total debt of 1.2 million and a total equity of 0.797 million we get a ratio of 1.51 this ratio tells us that the firm has 151% excess debt over its total equity so this means that for every 1 rupee invested by owners in the assets of the business 1.51 rupee have been invested by creditors in the long term assets of the firm apparently the total debt is 150% excess of the equities and this seems a difficult condition for the company in long term if the company fails to pay its long term debt a similar version of debt equity ratio is equity multiplier this means that how much multiple of equity has been invested in total assets of the firm two variables of this ratio are total assets and total equity like if we have total assets of 2 million and total equity of 0.797 million and we divide total assets with the total equity we get a ratio of 2.51 this means that an amount of 2.51 of 1 rupee equity has been invested in the total assets of the business so what is the relationship of this ratio with the total debt or long term debt if we add to the total debt there is an increase in the total assets letting the equity same so equity works as a, a multiplier we can determine this equity multiplier adding debt equity ratio to a number of 1 and answer we get the same then we have time interest earned ratio or tie ratio this ratio tell us that how much profit before interest has a firm earned in order to cover its interest on its various debt the formula of this ratio is earnings before interest and interest expense if we have ebit of 399000 and interest expense of 35000 we divide ebit over interest expense and we get a ratio of 11.41 we will call it as 11.41 times this means that the firm has 11.41 times in profit of its interest or simply we can say that firm has earned so much profit that it can pay off its interest expense more than 11 times but surely this doesn't happen to me the minimum benchmark for this ratio should be the one this means that a firm at least earn earnings before interest just equal to its interest expense so can it cover its interest expense safely a refined version of tie ratio is cash coverage ratio 
this ratio tell us that how much cash a firm has generated from its operations in order to pay off its interest expense to determine this cash coverage ratio we use a unique variable of ebit da or ebitda this means earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization or in other words we add depreciation amortization and other non cash expenses to ebit and we determine a gross amount of cash operating profit if we have ebitda of rupees 440500 rupees and interest expense of 35000 and we divide ebitda with the interest expense we get a ratio of 12.59 this 12.59 times means that the firm has earned 12.59 times cash profit over its interest expense or putting other way in simple words we can say that firm has generated so much cash from its operations that it can pay off its interest expense over 12 times thank you very much